all types of combination locks. They're a very necessary part when it comes to, in terms of like building a redstone contraption, in terms of like building a piston door or a hidden entrance, which is which is a piston door. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you five of them that are most commonly used in redstone contraptions. This is episode two of a I don't know how long series about how redstone contraptions work. I'm going to an in-depth tutorial base kind of on how to build these redstone contraptions for you to use them in your own worlds. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Number one is the most simplest out of all the designs, and it is called the torch key. So basically how it works is you replace the torch here. This piston would place an observer facing in any direction down like this into a pulse extender, kind of like this with a four tick pulse out of the observer. So it exists more of a one tick pulse would be enough time for these things to open up and turn on, which the output is right here. And then we have another piece of redstone dust that leads into this block, which powers this piston, which breaks the torch. We can see that in action right there. And it'll turn off when the pulse extender is over. So it allows you to create an, an entrance device if you're in like a thing. So just for example, remember this? Well, it's gonna be back now. How this works is it's a torch key that opens up a piston door. In my vault video that Bislon edited, and it allows you to entrance all this. So let's get on to contraption number two, which I think actually is the lever combination lock. So how it works is you have a bunch of levers with redstone torches behind them and it allows you to have like an output behind it and it runs into anything so like this is how I did this and yeah that's how that works. Here is a better way on how I did this. So there's one, two, and three different levers and they're all connected with redstone torches. You want to make sure that there's redstone tor dust like this. You want to make sure that it's like this. And when you have the correct levers flipped, so if you were to flick all these levers per se, we want to make sure that lamp stays off. So if we were to flick all these levers per se, it would continue to stay off because these levers are powering the redstone dust, which keeps it off. So if we were to unflip these levers, the levers that are dummy levers, the lamp would turn on as the correct combination is in place. This is a very simple redstone contraption, and it allows you to basically do whatever you want with it. So now we're going to get into the more complex of redstone contraptions, and the first one is the hose switch. So when you do this, you till a piece of soil, which this observer will detect it, firing a once again 4 tick pulse from this redstone Peterson 4 ticks sitting into a block, with a red piece of redstone dust on top of it, and a piston behind the piece of redstone dust facing in this direction, with a block on its face that untills the soil and it makes it so you can redo it again. And then right here is the output for this. You can put it into a pulse extender again if you want to, or you can put it into a T flip-flop like we did in the previous video. You can do whatever you want with this, and I think it's a very cool redstone contraption that you can use anywhere. Next up is the button combination lock. So how this works is you have a bunch of repeaters in a line and works by sending quick pulses through the buttons, and you want to make sure that it un lights all the redstone lamps or all the redstone torches at the same time. So I think it's this, this, this. Or this, 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 this. There you go. And as you see, it turned all off. So that's a good thing. So it means it works. So you can do this however you want to. It's a simple button combination lock. You can have as many of these as you want to. You have to make sure that they all just turn off when you're done with it. So you can have an output for this. So obviously it would work that way. You can do that. And I think the final one of today is the item frame combination lock. So very simply put the correct combination in. It does this. There are more complex versions of this, but this is a simple one you can use. So it only needs to fire once. And that's how it works instead of getting a continuous pulse out of it. So that's how that works. Actually, what you could even do is change this to four ticks, and I think it would make it even better. So let's reset these. And as you can see, we got the red commission. This it stays like that. 
read the correct combination from this, and it would open up again, and you would immediately get it taken back. So I think that's a cool redstone contraption right there. It, there's some flaws in it, but it works. It's a simple. These are all simple builds. There are much more complex things out there. But this is designed to be simple. They're all designed to be simple, as it's supposed to be simple. So I thank you all for watching this video, and if you did, please sure to hit that like button, and if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But my name is that Engineer L, and I'll see you all in the next one, and I hope you found this video helpful. If any questions, leave them down in the comments section, and I will answer them. I read all the comments of every single one of my videos, so if you feel like you don't get a common answer, it might be because I'm busy, but I'll make sure that I will try to answer them for you. I think I really sound tired in this video, to be honest with you. <laughs> It, yeah, I'm tired. I don't know. I don't know what the time is. I don't keep track of time anymore.